Welcome back to another night of Renewal Week. So yesterday, Mark helped us find our blue egg and we opened it and look what we found. All of this wonderful, special treasure. It reminded us that God's kingdom, being where God is, is a special treasure. It's worth more than anything in the world and we could give everything up just to get God's kingdom and that is the most important thing. We also learned that we are God's treasure and that's why Jesus came to win us back. He died on the cross and rose again so that if we trust in him, we are part of God's kingdom and that is the most special treasure in all the world. So now, Let's go ahead and see what our next story is going to be about. Uh, I think we need to look for our egg, and so it's probably best if we just go ahead and call Mark. Should we? Okay, let's call him. I'm going to count to three, and then we'll say, oh, Mark, and then we'll see if he pops up. Maybe he will. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, Mark. Oh, it worked. Hi there, Mark. Wow, you're looking a little different there, bud. Usually he has his black top hat on. What is this, a wizard costume or? Oh, okay, well, I can't hear. Let me get closer. Oh, it's a party hat. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a party. Well, that's pretty cool. Why don't we? Oh, oh, he says it has something to do with our next egg. Okay, Mark, we need the orange egg. Could you go ahead and get that for us? Send it on over? I wonder if he has to look far. We'll see. Oh, oh, it's right here. Well, that worked out well. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. Okay, here is our orange egg. So this is gonna give us a clue about our story time tonight. Let's go ahead and open it and see what's in there. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, I guess there is a party. You were right, Mark. This is amazing. Woohoo! All right, well, I guess this is a pretty clear clue that there's going to be a party in our story today. But I have to let you know there's also going to be two other characters there's going to be a son and a father. And it's really important what they do. So listen very closely. Here is our key verse for our story. It's found in Luke 15, verse 24. It says, For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Sounds like the son was found. Let's listen to our story. It comes from Luke 15. So bigger kids, if you want to get your Bibles and turn to Luke 15, go ahead and do that now. All right, let's head over to story time. Hi, New City Kids. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm excited to have the opportunity to read another story with you. My name is Mr. Herb. Some of you have probably seen me around the church or teaching you on Sunday mornings. Uh, we are going to read from the Jesus Storybook Bible that's written by Sally Lloyd-Jones and it's illustrated by Jago. Um, the story that we will be reading is called Running Away and it is a story from the book of Luke in chapter 15. So let's begin. Jesus told this story about a boy who ran away. Once upon a time, there was a boy and his dad. Now one day the boy gets to thinking, maybe if I didn't have my dad telling me what is good for me all the time, I'd be happier. He's spoiling my fun, he thinks. Does my dad really want me to be happy? Does my dad really love me? The son never thought of that before, but suddenly he doesn't know anymore. So the son goes to his father and says, Dad, I'm better with, off without you. I can look after myself. Just give me the share of the money. His father is sad, but he won't force his boy to stay. So he gives his son what he wants. The son takes the money and goes on a long, long journey to a far off country. And he takes everything wonderful and perfect for a while. 
He can go wherever he wants and do whatever he wants, be whatever he wants. He is his own boss. He is free. Sometimes he gets a strange, hungry, homesick feeling inside his heart, but then he just eats more or drinks more or buys more clothes or goes to more parties until it goes away. But soon his money runs out, and so do his friends. He ends up getting the only job he can find, feeding pigs. Yuck. One day he is so hungry and so desperate, he even tries to eat some piggy food. Yuck. What am I doing? He says, suddenly as if he has woken from a nightmare. He spits. Yuck. All of it. Ick. Out of my mouth. My father is rich, and here am I in a pigsty, eating piggy food. He wipes off his mouth and dusts off himself, says, I'm going home. As he starts for home though, he begins to worry. Dad won't love me anymore. I've been too bad. He won't want me for a son anymore. So he practices I'm sorry speech. As this time passes, he doesn't know what day it is. Day after day, His dad's been standing on the porch, straining his eyes, looking into the distance, waiting for his son to come home. He just can't stop loving him. He longs for the sound of the boy's voice. He can't be happy until he gets him back. The son is still a long way off, but his dad sees him coming. What will the dad do? Fold his arms and frown, shout, that'll teach you, and just you wait, young man. No, that's not how the story goes. The dad leaps off the porch, races down the hill, through the gap in the hedge, up the road. Before his son can even begin his I'm sorry speech, his dad runs to him, throws his arms around him, and can't stop kissing him. Let's have a party, his dad shouts. My boy's home. He ran away. I lost him, but now I have him back. Jesus told them, God is like the dad who couldn't stop loving his boy. And the people are like the son who said, Does my dad really want me to be happy? Does my dad really love me? Jesus told this story to the people to show them what God is like and to show the people what they are like so they could know however far they ran, however well they hid, however lost they were, it wouldn't matter because God's children could never run too far or be too lost for God to find them. This is the story of the boy that ran away from Luke 15. Wow, that was a great story. Thank you to Mr. Herb for reading that for us. The son from the story is like us. Sometimes we run from God in what we do, think, say, or even the things that we love. The Bible calls that sin. When we come to our senses, just like the son in the story, that's the Holy Spirit revealing to us that we're actually running from God. So we should turn from our sin, which is called repenting, confess it, tell God we're sorry, and run to Jesus. Jesus, our Savior, who died and rose again to give us new life. We shouldn't be tempted to think that God would not love us or that he wouldn't forgive us. The father in the story was waiting with open arms. 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, he, God, is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This is really good news. God is always waiting with open arms when we turn to him. So tonight, you can also end with the family prayer and go down into the description, click on the playlist, and we have those same songs prepared for you. Maybe you listened to First Things First last night. Tonight, it would be great for you to learn God with us. The motions go like this. God is here with us. That's some great news. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Thank you.